Hi guys, uh, so I've been getting a lot of calls from students saying that sir, there has not been any videos, you know, recently from last one week and you know, where are you and you know, what's happening and all that. So I just thought you know, I'll make a video and kind of really interact with you guys. Um, so yeah, so from last seven to eight days, I think there has not been any video from my side, um, not for IFT and CAT analysis and all that. So unfortunately, uh, last Monday, I lost my father and uh, because of which, you know, I wasn't really in a situation to make any of the videos by the way. Uh, but now I'm trying my level best to kind of you know, get back to the normal, uh, you know, the routine that we have. And uh, eventually you will be seeing videos coming from my side. Now when I was interacting with students, a lot of students were uh, kind of concerned as far as the, uh, you know, CAT is concerned. Because some of the students said that the CAT went very well. Some of the students said that, no, for me CAT wasn't that great. Uh, it was a shocker. Now, the only thing that I wanted to tell you is that uh, I know the answer keys out. Uh, I understand that you know now you have your raw score uh, with you, but to be very honest, I think it's too early to even judge where do you stand and what kind of colleges that you get. So my sincere advice to everybody will be: you have to wait for your report card to be out. Let's understand the scaling. Let's see actual percentile on your report card. After that, you can be very much certain that you know what this is where I'm, I'm getting into. So that's the first thing. So even if your cat was bizarre. You don't really have to be tense and you know, get demotivated and give up on your preparation. I mean, it's okay. Expect the unexpected. And um, on the other side, to be very honest, if you really want to kind of you know, move forward in your life and you know, kind of you know, buckle up and give your best shot for the other exams, I think the first thing that every one of you will have to do is get over your past. Try to forget whatever has happened. But yes, try to learn something if you have done any mistakes. Don't repeat that. You have upcoming exams, which is, I think, IAP is also done. Yeah. You've got SNAP. You've got ZAT, you've got this, you've got CMAT, and you've got uh, CD. Now, though we you know understand that CAT has the greatest exposure, but again, whatever exams are gonna come on your way can give you definitely top 20 B schools in the country. So you've got SIPM Pune on your way, you've got this on your way, you've got JV on your way, you've got Exilara on your way. So my only thing is that now CAT is done, it's done and the same. Neither you nor I can help you with this, like it's not in our hand. So the humble request from my side to every one of you will be start getting up for the other exams because other exams are equally good and the best thing about the other exams is they are not as tough as CAT to be very honest I mean even if you talk about ZAC I understand ZAC level of difficulty is way higher than CAT but again there is a trade off the exam is very much tougher but what you have as a compensation is the cutoffs are very much lower right for verbal if you look at if you round about crack 9 questions you should be able to get the cutoff clear and that is beautiful exam. I will be making you know videos about that also. The only thing that I wanted to say, tell you guys is that I see a lot of people have not been able to kind of you know, come back and start with the preparation. They still have that dilemma that my cat new or my exams can be But trust me, all the exams which are going to be on your way. Let's talk about SNAP. SNAP is the most easy exam that you can attempt right now because that exam only requires speed. It doesn't require a lot of number crunching, it doesn't even require a lot of logical understanding, you know, putting your brains into it. It's a straightforward exam. When well, yes, you got to know the basics, absolutely basics. You got to know the basics, you got to know the speed, you need to know the shortcuts. If you are there, then understand. I mean, trust me, last year, uh, SIP Pune cutoff was around about 70 to 75. It's still achievable, it's still doable. And again, it's a 50 50 thing. One thing is that you have to score a bit. On the other side, you have to take care of GDPI. So, if you talk about all these exams, if you are demotivated, my honest advice to everyone will be, it happens, it's okay, you have to kind of get over it and you need to start again. Because there are so many students, they are still into the CAT mode, they are still into the CAT zone, they are not happy about CAT. But again, if you are going to be in that zone, then you will be missing a lot of opportunities. And to be very honest, every year I see these kind of examples, like my students, Last year, some of my students scored 70 percentile, 70 to 75 percentile in CAT, even after giving their best shot. But they were not able to get it, right? So they couldn't get it to 98 and 99. They got 70 to 75 percentile. Same students were able to get 98.99, in SNAP, in CET, in CMAP. There are students, they eventually went ahead and cracked TIS. They also got selected in Jamnal Bajaj. They took over uh, TIS and they went ahead with TIS. Some students did very well in IFT, they did very well in ZAG, they did very well in CAT also, but they were they, they were interested in Jamnal Al Bajaj and they got into JVI. So that's the thing that I want to tell you that this is not the end. CAT is not the end. And again, 
you are still tense about it you are still you know in a dilemma why because the scores are out the raw score is out you have no idea what is going to be the present time nobody has an idea what we can do is we can only predict so let's wait for the report card even at 88 to 90 percent time even at 90 percent time you are getting good colleges to be very honest you are getting top you are getting kg you are getting gym you are getting four ifm are priced there are so many colleges out there fine now when i talk about symbiosis right when i talk about uh when i said in pune particularly SIT in Pune statistics, legacy, pedagogy is actually better than a couple of IMs in the country and I have been always telling you that. Same goes for Narsi Munji, same goes for TIS and same goes, same goes for JD IMS, even same is applicable for Excel array. There are people that leave old IMs and go to Excel array. So even for that you have ample of time with you. But the only thing that matters right now is that how positively you accept it and how positively you move ahead with it. So expect the unexpected. Even I never thought, you know, I will be kind of, you know, hard to encounter such things in my life. But anyway, what most we can do is, you know, we can just take care of things, whatever we have in the present, move ahead and try to stay focused every single day in our life. So guys, I have not made any video from last seven days. Now onwards, you will be seeing videos coming on a regular basis for Snap, for Zach, for all the areas. It's just going to be business as usual from here onwards. So, um, I also want to say I'm sorry I couldn't post any videos on IFT as such um, but I'm going to try my level best to give you solid content for the upcoming exam. So stay tuned and please please stay positive, buckle up, start with your preparation right now. Even if you start from today, even if you start from today for SNAP, you can still crack XIV and Pune. It's possible, it's doable. The only thing is that you have to take action and I'm very sure you will be able to do it. So that's it from my side guys. Thank you so much.